Welcome to the Castle of San Giovanni. This ancient manor, dating back to the 12th century, was, together with Castle Santa Barbara and Castle Romano, the birthplace of the noble Lodron family. Built on a pre-existing Roman structure, the castle is placed in a strategical position as it was erected on a spur of isolated rock that makes it almost inaccessible. Moreover, its elevated position allows it to dominate over Lake Idro, the nearby Rocca d'Anfo and the southern part of the Valle del Chiese. In the 12th century, the castle was already owned by the Lodron family, a very important family at the service of the empire of Friedrich III, who in 1452 awarded the family with the title of Count. Entering the castle, we can immediately notice how its structure is both ancient and modern. In fact, despite the recent renovation works that have modernized the castle, you can still see the ancient splendor of the original structure by visiting the archaeological site dating back to the 12th century. Inside, perfectly preserved remains are visible, representative of the life of the time. There is a granite sink, an ancient bread oven and a water cistern that were used by the servants of the Lodron family. We also find the remains of an ancient reception room of which we can still glimpse the arched structure and imagine the ancient splendor. Among the various lords of Castle of San Giovanni, we remember in a particular way Ludovico Lodron a valid leader who took part in the expedition of the Landsknecht that ended in 1527 with the sack of Rome. The Landsknecht were mercenary soldiers enlisted by the German legions of the Holy Roman Empire. The Lodron family had a direct connection with the German soldiers as Ludovico's sister, Anna, married Georg Frundberg, who was considered to be the father of the Landsknecht. The decline of Castle of San Giovanni began in the 16th century following the choice of the two countesses, Damigella Margherita, to move to Salò. Following this decision, the two women summoned the inhabitants of the nearby village of Bondone and informed them of their decision, releasing them from the financial and working obligation they had towards the Lodron family, thus confirming the growing autonomy of the small village. Abandoned at the beginning of the 17th century, the castle saw a progressive decline until the 1950s, when in 1956 the heirs of the Lodron family sold the castle to Luigi Cavalli and his wife, who reconstructed it partially by adapting the terraces to orchards, renovating the tower and rebuilding the main house. Following the death of his wife, Luigi Cavalli lived for a few years at the castle until one morning, taken by a desperate feeling of melancholy, decided to commit suicide and left the castle as an inheritance to the National Institute of Castle. Today, the castle is owned by the municipality of Bondone. It hosts weddings, events and historical reenactments. The castle is also open during summer for sightseeing. Inside, you can visit the permanent exhibition on the Colmen of Bondone and the traveling exhibitions that change from year to year.